else I'm going to do early in our lecture is uh, castor or compress so that you can see how it soaks in. It can take nearly half an hour to soak in. Now castor oil penetrates deeper than any other oil and wherever castor oil penetrates it breaks up lumps, bumps, congestion, adhesion. It will break up a bone spur. If the bone spur has been there three years it may take three months to break it up. If it's been there three months, it may take three weeks. If it's been there three weeks, it might only take three days. So it all depends how long it's been there. But the key is consistency. Now, this is really not a poultice, it's a compress. And as a compress, it's not drawing anything out of you. It's a vehicle. This little pad is a vehicle to hold the oil so that it'll penetrate into you. So every day you might apply the poultice or the compress and after you've finished you might fold it over and then the next day open it up, put a little bit more oil and apply it again. So you can use it for tumours, you can use it for cysts. Uh, I met a lady who told me she'd conquered her breast cancer by castor oil, wearing the castor oil compresses. In fact, one young girl I knew had a fibroid in her uterus. They wanted to operate, but she wanted to do it naturally. So she took the Anna's Wild or applied the Anna's Wild Yam Cream to get the estrogen down and applied the castor oil compresses to her abdomen. Some people sleep with them. You can certainly have it on overnight. Some people would rather be a little bit freer at night and just let it sit in their clothes. But you need to have a plastic backing because the castor oil could soil the clothes, but done properly it will never soil. So what you do is you, is you put a circle on in the middle. So I'll show you what I've done here. So the, the little castor oil pack is about this big, the plastic is about that big, and I've put approximately this much castor oil on. And because it's so thick, it's sitting above the pack. And as it slowly soaks through, it'll go out to about that much. And then when it goes on your warm body, it'll go out a little bit more. Can you see that? So if you do it correctly, it's not going to leak and get on everything. Because there's nothing worse than castor oil on the sheets or on your clothes. So. We're letting that sit so that it can soak in. So where would you put that? You would put that on a bone spur. You would put that on sometimes even a, a sore wrist, uh, joints. You can put it on for that. One lady had very sore knees and found that that made a big difference. You could put it on a congested chest. If it's winter and a person's got a congested chest, obviously you'd make a little bit bigger for that. Um, you may then put a hot water bottle on and that would help to to uh, warm up your poultice. Mostly the, hu the body will warm it up but if the person's got a cold and they'd like it to be warmed quickly you can do that. It can be used on the abdomen for constipation. It'll penetrate deep and break up congestion in there. I met a lady who was the wife of a doctor. She said 20 years ago I had irritable bowel syndrome and when my husband told me what he was offering medically, I said, no thanks. <laughs> and she'd heard about castor oil, so she applied castor oil compresses. And she said she healed herself. Little few dietary changes as well, as you heard last night. Um, so castor oil can be used just about anywhere. It can help to break up um, gallstones in the gallbladder. It can help to... Uh, revive the liver, so your liver, your gallbladder is under your right rib, so you would do it to that area. It applied to the kidneys, it can help break up kidney stones. And so there's a whole lot of areas that you can use castor oil. I don't advise you take it by mouth. It can be a little irritating there. But topically used externally, it, um, it can have quite a powerful effect. Now you see the castor oil has, um, has soaked in quite nicely. When I first put it on, it was like a lump of oil. 
Now, do you remember what I said, that it'll spread out a little bit? Now, when you put that on the body, it'll spread out a little bit more. And remember, it's just a vehicle to hold the oil to go into you. So this isn't drawing anything out of you. And when you're not using, you can just fold it over. And the next night, you'll open it and put a little bit more oil on. You'll find that as you use it, it gets a little dry because the body's taking it in. Some people say, can't you just rub the oil on? Well, it's very sticky and messy and you're only putting a little bit on. Whereas if you use a pack, you see the thicker the pack, the more castor oil it can hold and the more castor oil can go into you.